These are the 12 creams most used in desserts. With these videos, you will learn the tricks and techniques to prepare them correctly. Then you just have to use your imagination and make your own combinations to get amazing desserts. The 12 creams most used in desserts. Hi, I'm Carlos Salgado. An eclair or a fruit tart sometimes seems very complicated to make. The truth is that they are desserts that require two or three preparations. One of those is a cream. That cream tends to be the element that makes that dessert unforgettable. Once you learn how to make these creams, you will achieve an important amount of knowledge in pastry arts. Join me in this first of two videos about the classics and most used creams in desserts. We start with the classic custard or pasty cream. Five hundred grams of milk, eighty grams of yolks, one hundred thirty-five grams of sugar, fifty grams of cornstarch, vanilla beans or essence, and thirty grams of soft butter. Boil the milk with half the sugar. Add the vanilla. We always add the flavors such as mint, cinnamon or orange into the milk. If you rather a lactose-free cream, you can use rice milk. Meanwhile, we mix the yolks with the other half of the sugar and the cornstarch. You can use flour if you want, but with cornstarch you will always get a gluten-free cream. The rule here is that for every 100 grams of milk, we use 10 to 12 grams of cornstarch. Strain the milk. Slowly add the milk into the mixture of yolks. Mix very well. Strain again. Now bring to boil. This is the way to pasteurize the cream and get rid of the taste of the starch. Boil for about 30 seconds. The more cream you cook, the longer it has to boil. Of the heat, stir the cream a little bit. Add the soft butter. Mix very well. Wrap in plastic and refrigerate overnight. The next day, smooth the cream a little, by hand or in the mixer. Here we have a delicious cream, perfect for desserts with fruits or as filling. Thousands of possibilities. For the chocolate pastel cream, the ingredients are the same. The difference is we add 130 grams of dark chocolate at the end in two or three parts. We mix well 
and follow the same procedures that we did with the vanilla pastry cream. A delicious and perfect cream. Now we have another classic, chantilly cream or whipped cream. For this very simple cream, we have 500 grams of heavy cream, 50 grams of powdered sugar, and vanilla beans or essence. You can add another essence if you like, such as orange or lemon. The rule here is that the amount of sugar should be between 10 and 20% of the amount of the heavy cream. We put everything in the mixer a medium spin until getting a compact and very thick texture. Perfect for piping. If the cream gets separated, just add a little more heavy cream. Beat for a few seconds and you will have the chantilly back. If you want this cream to decorate and stay on for longer, you can add a little mascarpone. So to the previous recipe, we add 200 grams of mascarpone cheese. First, we cream the mascarpone with the sugar. Then we add the heavy cream. The chantilly is thicker. If you want a chocolate chantilly, you have to make it in two steps. The night before, bring to a boil 500 grams of heavy cream, 100 grams of dark chocolate, and 50 grams of powdered sugar. Refrigerate. The next day, beat until getting a creamy consistency. So we have another way to make more combinations and decorations. Now we have the Diplomat Cream. A mixture of pastry cream and whipped cream. A lighter pastry cream, more delicate. For the pastry cream, we have the same ingredients as the previous recipe. Instead of the soft butter at the end, we use two gelatin sheets of two grams each. Hydrate the gelatin at the beginning and add it hydrated and drained at the end. Same procedure for the vanilla custard. The next day, smooth the cream. Whip 200 grams of heavy cream.
fold the whipped cream in two or three parts very carefully into the pastry cream. And here we have the best cream for a classic meal feel or Napoleon. Now we have the Chibus cream, a delicious combination of pastry cream with Italian meringue. For the pastry cream we have the same ingredients we use in the vanilla custard. Instead of soft butter, we use at the end of the preparation 3 sheets of hydrated gelatin of 2 grams each. Refrigerate the cream overnight. The next day, smooth the cream. And prepare the Italian meringue. For more details, please check out the meringue tutorial. Beat 3 egg whites with 10 grams of sugar. Bring to a boil 200 grams of water with 100 grams of sugar until reaching 240 degrees. At the edge of the bowl, add the syrup to the egg whites slowly and without stop beating. Go up to medium speed. When the bowl is at room temperature, stop beating and carefully mix with the pastry cream in two or three parts. So we have a soft and intense pastry cream perfect to caramelize. And we finish this first edition with the classic Mousseline cream. For the pricey cream, follow the same recipe and procedures than the vanilla custard. At the end, we add 110 grams of soft butter. Set aside another 110 grams. The next day, take the cream and butter out of the fridge and allow them to get room temperature. Beat the pastry cream very well and add the soft butter in three parts. We obtain a very light cream. This is the ideal cream for a fraisier. I hope you like this first video about the most used creams in desserts. If that's the case, please give a like. And if you like my recipes, please subscribe for more pastry lessons. Do not miss the second part of this list. Thanks for joining me and see you soon.